Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we look to a kite, right? We have a kite here, we notice these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent. That is the definition of a kite. And they ask us to find these, these number angles, angle 1 and angle 2. And what is cool about a kite? One of the properties is this one. Diagonals are perpendicular. In other words, AC perpendicular on BD. Which means what? Which means they create right angles. All these angles are right angles. So how much is going to be the measure of angle 1? 90 degrees because it's a right angle. Very simple, right, to find the measure of angle 1. But what about the angle 2? For angle 2, I'm going to take this triangle, right? But first of all, let's take a look to this angle, right? And by the way, this one will be like, you remember, 90 degree. All, all those four angles are 90 degree because those diagonals are perpendicular, okay? But what about this angle? Let's go back to this angle. Angle ACD, the one I just marked it, is congruent to angles BCA. Why? Well, that is another property of a kite. One diagonal, which in this case is AC, bisects uh, opposite angles, which in this case is BAD and BCD, which means the measure of angle ACD is 35 degrees. So now, let me go on that triangle I mentioned. This is 90 degree, this is the angle 2, and this angle is 35. Like that. Is that ACD? How are we going to find angle 2? Very simple. The measure of angle 2 plus, the measure plus uh, 35 is 90. Those two angles are complementary. Measure of angle 2 will be 90 minus 35, right, which is 55. Okay? That's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.